Hey everybody, Bryce here from CodeLife.io, and today we are talking about React uh, children props. So I'll show you real quick in a in a uh, simple demo. Uh, we're going to create a card component essentially um, to do a quick demonstration here. So let me click on React. I'm just at StackBlitz.com. Uh, it's really easy to get set up with a new project. So let's go to Files. Let's create a new file here we'll called Card.js, and here. Just import React from React. You know what we're doing. Export const card. This will be our component, which will take some props. And then we're gonna use parentheses instead of curly braces so we don't actually have to say the word return. And then we'll just have a div. Perfect. And then in here, what we wanna do is render props.children. Let's go back over to index. We import our card component. It's a named component. Cool. So now we can come down here. We can say card. And save that. So that was really quick. What did we do? We created a card component which uh, it's just basically returning a div with the children props passed back. What are children props? All this stuff right here. So everything you see between the uh, card component tags is gonna be uh, children. Um, so basically just the guts in between is what you're passing along. So you don't actually have to say the word, you know, children like that, uh, where you normally would have to for your normal props. In this case, it's just implicitly uh, pass along that way. So real easy. And so I, how, how is this effective? You're probably asking like, why would I use this? Um, there's a couple of reasons why I like to use this a lot of times when I'm building layouts and stuff like that. And I want to, I want to render pieces inside a layout, but I need to, to center up on a page or do something. I want it to be a certain container or something like that. Really handy. So let me just show you a quick example. So now we're going to style it. I'm just going to do inline styles to save some time here. And we say with, say 50%. Um, I'm just going to do margin. And then was it top right, bottom left? So I'll say 10 pixels auto, 30 pixels auto. Cool. So that should center that up. Then what do we want? We want box shadow. Since it's a card component, it looks pretty good when you add a little little shadow to it. Um, let's see, I think my camera is moving on me. Beep. Cool. Uh, box shadow. So for the box shadow, we want say zero, five pixels. So this is horizontal. Uh, shadow this is vertical or horizontal offset vertical offset then we have uh the blur and then the spread so we'll say 10 pixels we want a really blurry and then two pixels for the spread and the color rgb a a for alpha is the opacity or transparency i guess you could say uh we'll say zero 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 0.25 and then let's just add some padding for good measure we'll say 20 pixels cool so really quickly we just created a decent halfway decent looking um react component there you see actually 10 does that change anything oh that's the wrong one that's Yeah, not much effect. Anyways, so that uh, really quickly created a card component. Pretty simple, straightforward. This is now very useful, and you can see in our index. So we came over here. Um, we could create multiple card components. You could have a card in a card. You could have, I mean, all kinds of stuff. I mean, you could do this here. Just got to wrap this. And I can say, I want a card here. And I want a card here.
Oh, a closing tag. I need a slash. There we go. Perfect. So you can see pretty quickly we are able to create multiple cards and we could create a whole card layout or whatever we want it. <clears throat> Excuse me, for a vertical type of layout. You can do them horizontally if you wanted to, um, but just because I centered them up and made them 50% of the width, um, they're not going to fit on the page there. But uh, looks pretty good to me. I'm pretty happy with it. And this is a quick introduction to React uh, Children Props. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please uh, ask in the comments below or join the Slack channel. Uh, otherwise, uh, please like and subscribe. It helps others find the videos. And uh, thank you so much. Take care, guys.